Isabella Gardening right now and in our audience, among our audience members, we have members of the River Oaks Garden Club. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Tell us what you all do. Well, we um, have for years and years put on an azalea trail for the, for the civic um, group here in Houston. Uh, beautiful gardens. We work at BioBend Gardens. We take care of the gardens. We've done that since 1961. Beautiful place. Yeah, beautiful place. And so people can come and walk those, those grounds? Yes, they're open to the public, and during the Azalea Trail, they're open in the pu to the public as well. And we, we're hoping for a great crop of azaleas this year. Yeah, because you never know. Our, our weather's been really crazy yeah. over the last few years, right? Absolutely. Okay, and when's that happening? March 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. All right, thank you. Well, February is more or less springtime in Houston and a perfect time to plant a vegetable bed. You heard us talking about vegetables earlier. Farmer Scott is back to show us that it's easier than you think and it doesn't require a lot of yard space. Okay, so the first thing we have to start with is where do you want to do it? Right, so selecting your vegetable garden area is really important. You can't put it, you know, behind your garage under your big oak tree in the <laughs> shade where you never get any sunlight. You don't want to put it, you know, at the, at the pool, the makeshift pool in your backyard where when we get rain like this, the water piles up either. So yeah. we need a well-draining site. At least six hours of sunlight is great to help uh, those vegetables grow as much as, you know, 16 is great as well, yeah. hours of sun. Okay, the framing materials that are best to use? Yeah, so you've got a lot of different options. You can repurpose things from your yard. Um, you just need to be careful using certain items. You've got to realize there might be chemicals on those that are going to leach. And if chemicals are leaching into the soil, um, there's a possibility the plants are picking them up. Yeah, because so, that, that's one of the things you're really adamant about. It's right. organic gardening. Right, right. And even, well, yeah, we're even talking um, more serious than pesticides. So using, yeah. like, uh, railroad timbers are treated with creosote so that they don't ever rot. And that creosote leaches into the gardens, you can end up eating it. So mm -hmm. it's not a good thing. So treated lumber, like treated pine, has uh, arsenic and copper in it, and that's going to leach into the soil and be absorbed by vegetables. So raw wood is the way to go. Um, or stone or cinder blocks. And in Houston, the only wood we have that lasts a long time is cypress. Okay. It's native to this area. It grows in the swamp, so you'd, you'd assume that it would last a long time. Okay, so you build out your frame of about how big you need. And what's, what's nice about this is that that could sustain a garden right there, a right. small garden. So yeah. you don't really need a whole lot of space. Right, this is four feet by eight feet. Um, the four feet width makes sense because you can reach two feet into the bed from either side. Mm -hmm. So you never have to step into the bed. It's really important to keep compaction down. You never want to step into your vegetable bed. And then eight feet is just a nice manageable size. You can walk around it. It's not too long of a line. Okay. So uh, we start with the soil, and mm -hmm. all soil is not created the same. No. No, we've talked over and over again. We, we plant in 100% compost. Um, it doesn't have any sand added to it. It doesn't have anything else. It's just straight compost. But you can only do that if you're using a really high-quality compost. And there's not a lot of places that are doing high quality. So you need to ask questions. Mm -hmm. um, figuring out whether or not it's high quality is, uh, is a little bit tricky to do. But we've talked before. It should smell like, uh, like the forest floor or like mushrooms. It should smell like, I'm like in the a good fungus. Right now. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it should be the color of really dark chocolate, um, that like 80% cacao chocolate. Mm -hmm. Not quite black, but a really dark brown. Right. And then it should be, it should be loose. You should, you should feel like it's not heavy. Yeah, and, not gummy or like clay. Right, right, no clay. So it should be nice and loose. Okay. How much do we put in? How high do we go? Right. So if you have a really well draining location already, you can go as low as six inches, even four inches if you have good soil. If you're like most of us and it's sand and clay, then six, eight, twelve inches is nice. The deeper you go, the better your first couple of years will be. Um, and ultimately, the soil beneath it's going to improve with all that compost on it. So. Okay, so we have our bed all nicely built and piled up with our right uh, soil. Mm -hmm. So what do we put in the ground like this weekend? Right, right. <laughs> for the spring. Right now. So we're we're still in spring. We still have a chance of frost. You really want to get tomatoes in the ground. That's something real important to talk about. Is people often complain about I have big plants that never produce, and when we get over a certain temperature, tomato plants quit p producing fruit, and so they'll grow and look beautiful, but produce nothing. So. Um, right now, tomatoes go in the garden for the next three, four weeks. Um, in a couple of weeks, two or three weeks, we can start doing bush beans, cucumbers, squash, melons, all that stuff. This, the other thing that's nice about visiting the farmer's market is that there are an array of vegetables and things that we have pretty much a lot of us never seen. Mm -hmm. And so you can kind of go there and figure out some things, taste some things, and figure out uh, something new that you might want to put in your right. garden that you weren't familiar with before. Okay, Kavanaugh Nuisi is with the Marcus Garvey Liberation Garden in the Third Ward, and they're having what's called a seed swap on February 26th. What is a seed swap? A seed swap is a gathering that goes on twice a year, and organic gardeners come together and they, we, tr we trade our seeds that we've harvested and grown ourselves. So all the seeds are, uh, are sustainably grown and adapted to our climate and our soil. Yeah, I never, it's kind of like the... Uh... 
kind of like, you know, what came first, the chicken or the egg? I never thought about, yeah, somebody who actually grows those seeds. That's right. We have to get those seeds to start it all with. Yes, ma'am. And so you can find, I would imagine, all kinds of things. Yes, yes. And I, I brought a few today. I've brought some purple hull peas. We have some lima beans, some okra seeds, and a few pods. We also have a special variety like you talked about in the uh, farmer's markets. We have a moon and star watermelon seeds and also cilantro seeds. Crushed up cilantro seeds, a lot of people don't know, is coriander, yeah. which is a spice. So these are just a few of the seeds that we've harvested from our own garden, and we will be planting and trading with other gardeners at our upcoming seed swap. Yeah. This because you're, you're, when you do this, you're planting the seed for good nutrition. We certainly know that. I think the, the phrase that you used was that a lot of our neighborhoods have become kind of like food deserts. Yes, ma'am. A bunch of fast food areas and yes, things and not really nutrient dense food. So you're getting people back to the nutritious food. Exactly, exactly. We're, we're trying to, like you said, increase the, the, the amount of healthy food in our communities. All right. Thank you. Farmer Scott, once again, thank you. To find out more about vegetable beds and the seed swap, visit our website, greatdayhouston.com. Up next, it's a one-stop resource for home services from flooring to fences and just about everything in between. And it's free when we come back.